Now we have more on those Gaza related protests that continue on college campuses in spite of repeated efforts to shut them down. In Los Angeles yesterday, Palestinian supporters clashed with pro Israeli activists at UCLA. Demonstrators on at least 22 U.S. campuses have been arrested. Elise Preston has more. UCLA was one of the latest flashpoints between pro Palestinian and pro Israeli demonstrators. Dozens clashed Sunday after a security barrier was breached. Physical altercations took place, but no major injuries were reported. Following the skirmishes, UCLA officials moved to drastically reinforce the barricades and railings. Across the country, authorities detained 100 people at Northeastern University in Boston. Pro-Palestinian student demonstrators are calling for their schools to divest from companies that do business with Israel. The current operations are pretty blatantly uh, war crimes, a genocide. While pro-Israeli demonstrators say people in the encampments are promoting anti-Semitism and ignoring Hamas-held hostages. If you actually want peace to be achieved as we do, and if you want a ceasefire, the hostages need to be released and they need to be at the forefront of this uh, discussion. As commencement day approaches for many colleges and universities, the people united will never be Administrators at both public and private schools are scrambling to find ways forward. At Columbia University, where the country's first encampment still stands, commencement still hangs in the balance. I personally don't view it as much of a loss if we don't have a graduation, especially with what they're trying to fight for. For CBS Mornings, I'm Elise Preston in Los Angeles.